Uh, oh, look, there's a Muslim. There's a Muslim. He is giving me Quran. CP, a perfect topic, but this guy is expert. <laughs> Unbelievable, look what they, look, look, look. The nice thing is, they say you are shit, and underneath my shit, they say, La ilaha illallah. I mean, can you find me more amazing people than that dude? You are shit, the line after it, La ilaha illallah. Perfect. So, this is my shit, and this is Allah. Wrong time, right place. <laughs> it is called this guy. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. He's not answering. Let us try a different Abdul. Hold on. The poopo guy is not his, his uh... oh, Lord have mercy. Now those who will download the video, cut it pieces, the video is long, make a video to laugh at uh, Mimi Hijab and the you know, striptease, and uh, whatever, you know, like just don't make it one video, long video. Uh, <clears throat> call me for Uthman ibn Farooq and etc. Okay, let's see. Maybe this guy is a Muslim. <coughs> um, Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. So I'm here for that uh, thing that Uthman Farooq said. Okay, you are a Muslim, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you want to say about what he said? You 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 just showed his first statements, but the the ones that he said afterwards, he meant that uh, Prophet Muhammad isn't from the Judeo -Christ Christianic faith. My, that, my friend, my that friend, kind of my friend. He said he is not Abrahamic. A very simple, very clear. He is not it's Abrahamic. Half Abrahamic faith. Is what? He said he's not Abrahamic faith. Exactly. This is what we care for. He is not Abrahamic faith. So what was the faith of Muhammad until the age of 40? So let's clear two things. When he said he's not Abrahamic faith, afterwards he he mentioned Jews and, and I, Christians. I never, said, I never said Muhammad. I did not say that he was saying that Muhammad was not Abrahamic after he became a prophet. I did not say that. I said until the age of 40, and I repeated many times, until the age of 40, Muhammad, he do not know what Abrahamic faith, and he do not know what the angel Jibreel, correct? No false. That's what I said, baby. People, my video is there. I just said that. Your video, I'm saying that. He, you, you, you are not showing the rest of the video. The rest of the video, he's saying that he's not from Judea Christ, master, major my friend, of Judea you are the, Christian. You are the one yes. who just said, admitted, you said he is not from Abrahamic faith, correct? No, I didn't say that. No, oh, until oh, what, okay, okay, yes. when, okay, yes. when uh, let, yes, us, yes. let us play it again until and I'll call you back. Okay, give me a, give me a minute. Okay. I will play it and I will call you back. Okay. Okay. Let Ooh. us listen carefully. Am I heard, guys? Listen carefully. I said many times that Muhammad until the age of 40 he did not know anything about the Abrahamic faith anything about the angel Jibreel according to Uthman you can play my video as much as you want and this is what Uthman he's saying listen carefully again like amazing miraculous things like linguistic miracles that the yeah, Arab exactly. poets couldn't respond to yeah so that's cool that's so cool he didn't, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel the angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel he was did he did he did sure Any later? No, no, even at that time, right? But, but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He did not know what, who Gabriel is. He did not know what Gabriel is because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. Write it down. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagans. 
See, the people of Mecca, they were pagan. He did not know the Abrahamic faith. And he did not know who is Gabriel. Why? Because he is not from the Abrahamic faith. Let us call this, uh, this Muslim again. So did you, yes. hear, did you hear him? So you should play the rest of it. People of Mecca were pagan and mostly they were pagans, but some were Muslims. No, my friend, he did not say some of them they were Muslims. He said the people of, of Quraysh, they are the people of Mecca, they are pagans. He did not say some. He said he, he did not say some. Yeah, he did not say he some. He said mostly, mostly pagan. If you play no, the rest of it, say, he said mostly. No, here we go. I mean, yes. okay, hold on, hold on. Let us make it simple. Do Muhammad know his Jibreel? Yes or no? Uh, we don't know. He said he said he don't. That's his personal opinion. So you, why you are calling me to tell me what his personal opinion if you do not know what he is saying? So did he say that uh, uh, Muhammad, he do not know who is Gabriel? That's what he's saying. I'm okay. not saying that. Did he say because? Did he say after he said that because? Did he say because? Okay. Okay, because what? Tell me the rest what he said. Because he didn't come from uh, Abrahamic faith. Because he do not, he did not come from Abrahamic. So why Muhammad do not know who is Gabriel? Because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. Wonderful. So why he do not know? Because he is not from the Abrahamic faith. Otherwise, he Abrahamic should... faith means Judeo Judeo Christianic faith. He's not from Judeo Christianic. Faith. No problem. That's true. No That's correct. No problem. So Abrahamic faith, you just said, it is Judaism and Christianity. So Islam is a fraud. Because you just said no, he did not no. come. He did not come from Abrahamic faith, and you are the one who describe Abrahamic faith is those who they are a Christian and Jews. Otherwise, anyone. No, else no, 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 no. You no, are no. the one who said that. Abrahamic faith. Abrahamic faith divides between Isaac, son of Abraham, and Ishmael, and he's from Ishmael, but the, uh, the Christian and Jews are from Isaac. My friend, you are the one who said to me. I, we said what Abrahamic faith? You said it's mean the Christian and the Jews. Okay, he's not from Christian Jews, but he's from okay. Ishmael. Just, so, just... Okay, if he is not from the Christian and the Jews, what that have to do with not being from Abrahamic faith? He's not Christian and Jews. I'm not saying I'm not getting what you're talking about. He just said he is not from the Abrahamic faith. Okay, that means Christian and Jews. So Abrahamic faith now is only Christian and Jews. The, the part of Isaac is... Uh, Don't tell me part. Don't tell me part. You are, you are, you are, you are, I'm talking to a man, not a kid. So is he is he from the Abrahamic faith or not? Which part? Isaac or Ishmael? I don't care. Is he from the Abrahamic faith or not? He said no. This he guy, said he meant, he meant from Judeo Christianity, not from Ishmael. Don't make things up. He said he is not from Abrahamic faith. If he want to say from a Christian, he will say Christians. If he want to say from the Jews, he will say from the Jews. And if he want to say from Abrahamic, he will say from Abrahamic. Secondly, this is against the Quran because the Quran says that Abraham was not a Christian, neither was a Jew. He was Hanif. So you, okay. are, so, so, you, so you are teaching false information about your religion. You do not know what are you talking about, obviously. No, no. He was teaching the guy according to his own belief, not according to our own belief. Oh, so are you saying now that uh, Sheikh Uthman, he have a new religion? It's not Islamic. He was teaching the Christian guy his own Bible. No, he was teaching about Muhammad. So how what, what my own Bible? It is his religion. Your Bible has he is speaking Christian. about Muhammad. Don't be, don't be, a, don't be a kid. Please speak like a man. He was speaking only about Muhammad. He did not mention the Bible here. He says Muhammad when Jibril he come to him. He do not know is Jibril. Why he say he said because he was not from the Abrahamic faith. He meant Judea and Christian, not Ishmael. But what does it have to do with Ishmael? Abrahamic faith is Abrahamic faith. No, Abrahamic faith divides between Isaac and Ishmael. But no, Abrahamic faith is Abrahamic faith. It doesn't matter who is behind him, who believe in it. Now you are from India and you are claiming that you follow Abrahamic faith. Are you from Isaac? No. Are you from Ishmael? No. I follow the God of Abraham. That makes me that makes my and religion you come Abrahamic. From the God of Abraham, when your prophet never taught, never know the God of Abraham, he will go. Your your Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless him. And give him he's not my sheikh. He, he's he's your sheikh. No, he's your top he's, scholar. He's this guy, this he's guy, no, this guy is better than Ibn Kathir. And from now on, I'm going to support him. 
I will defend him. Any Muslim will insult him. I will spank him. <laughs> don't don't insult my. my you can support him for your show. Yeah, you can no, support I'm him for your him show. Because but... he is the true guy. He just said yeah. Muhammad is not from the Abrahamic faith. So we we Christian we should support this guy because this is yeah. this is telling us the yeah. whole story about Islam. <laughs> Don't don't make fun of my my sheikh, my friend. This is my sheikh. This is my favorite sheikh. I know he's a, he's a Wahhabi Salafi sheikh. You should accept as extremist. What's it? So he's an extremist believer, correct? Yeah, he's a, he's either Wahhabi or Salafi. Okay, he's an extremist he's believer, and he is the extremist of Muslim. They say Muhammad wasn't Abrahamic. How how we can make it better than this? <laughs> <laughs> So and let, and let, let me let me ask you. So Muhammad, he never okay. know who is Jibril. Explain that part to us. That uh, I'm not he, I'm not here to say to explain what he is talking about. Why? Ask him. So why you are calling? But the, the the part that he said he's not from Abrahamic faith. He meant Judeo Christian, said, not from okay, Ishmael. No, 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 no. Don't tell me he meant. We got him busted. Now I'm asking you. He said that Muhammad he did not know who is Jibril. Why? Because he is not from the Abrahamic faith. Remember, Mecca was pagans. Mecca was pagan. Mostly, mostly pagan. Not no, all, all pagan. of them they were pagan. Don't tell me no, mostly. No, 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 no. Mostly pagan. Don't, Anyone was mostly the pagan. Says, all pagan. The Quran says that the people of Mecca are mushrikeen. Are you against the Quran? People of Mecca are mush. I have to. I have to read the exact. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> he don't know. He don't know. Okay. So now he said that Muhammad he did not know Gabriel. So Muhammad now is forty years old. He never heard of Gabriel. Why? Because he didn't study Jews and Christian books. He knows he doesn't know about it. Well, this is not the answer. I'm asking you. That's the answer. He doesn't know him because he didn't read the Jews and Christian books. That's why he doesn't know about it. Okay, this is not the question. I'm asking you why he do not know about Gabriel. Because he's not a Jew or a Christian. So you are saying again? I ask you three times, guys. Be my witness. Three times he said. If he was a Christian or a Jew, he will know about Jibreel. If he does not, he know nothing about Jibreel, correct? No, no. Oh, you want to put more words in my mouth. So you just I'm, said that. I'm, I I'm, asked you the question three no, times. No, I, I asked you the question three times. Okay, Why this is the chat I'm answering. Oh, so, this so, is the chat I'm answering. I asked you the question Prophet three times. Why do not know about Gabriel all his life, 40 years? He said again and again and again. Because no, no, no. I said him. again, again. From Ishmael, he knows from Jibril, but from Judeo Christian, he doesn't know. No, he said he did not know who is Jibril. Remember, he did not say because of That's, Ishmael. That part of... is that part is not true. This guy accusing Sheikh Osman to be a liar. He is not saying the truth, so I have to hang up on him. Anyone will insult Sheikh Osman. I'm warning you. Anyone will say Sheikh Osman is not saying the truth. I'm warning you. We support this guy. He is the only one who represents Islam. And you are a fraud. May Allah bless Sheikh Uthman. I mean, the guy, he said it clearly. He did not know who is Jibreel. We asked you why. He said, because not another Christian, not a Jew. So you just confirm that the ones who knows Gabriel is only the Christians and the Jews. So Muhammad, whatever he learned, he have to learn from the Christians and the Jews. Muhammad got busted. Any other Muslim? But please don't insult Sheikh Uthman. Please. Okay, we have a Muslim here. The real reason you do not like Muslims because of the size of our bear beard. The, look at this guy. Guys, look at this guy. I mean, what, what I can say? The real reason you don't like Muslims because of the size of our beard. <laughs> and we go, la 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 la. <laughs> Why you do you care if we want Grenada Luncher for Christmas? Oh, why do you care if we want Grenade Luncher for Christmas? Oh, this guy is a terrorist. We should report him to the FBI then. Uh, his name is Muhammad Abdul. Let us call him then. Let us see if he is brave enough to say what he is saying in the chat.
So you want you want to launch a grenade on the Christmas on the Christians? I want a grenade launcher. What? I want a grenade launcher. You want a grenade what? I want a grenade launcher. You want a grenade launcher? What does that mean? You will kill the Christians? No, I want a AK-47 and I want a grenade launcher. Okay, what do you want to do with them? I want to shoot them in the air while going. Whoop! You want to shoot Whoop! them? In the, you want to shoot them in the air? Yes. But you said in the Christmas. The, yeah. So now you are afraid to say they want to shoot the Christians? No, I just want to shoot them in the air. You want to shoot that them? way when I shoot the target practice, I can hit target perfect. Ah, so now you change your role. Suddenly you became a person want to shoot in the air only. Christian Prince, mm. Christian Prince, I tell you, the real reason you don't like us Muslims is because of the size of our beard. You don't have a beard. I have a very long beard. Okay, my show, beard show, is magnificent. Okay, show us your beard. Open. My beard is magnificent. Open your camera. Show us your beard. I what I need to do. What I need to do is I need to get comb, and I need to and I need to comb my beard, sir. You need to comb your beard. Is it full of lies? I need. I need to comb my beard, and and then I need to go to store, and I need to get to a, a, a what is it the 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 beard stuff, the beard stuff, so I can comb my beard. Okay, let me ask you: Did your prophet his beard was full of lies? It was probably full, but I I, I do not know. So probably your prophet his beard is full of lies. Do you have lies yourself, or are you only following the prophet? I do not know answer to. <laughs> I do not know answer to this question, sir. You are laughing at Muhammad. Yes, I laugh at Muhammad. Uh, so you are not. A, are you a Muslim or are you not a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim Christian prince, but I love your channel, sir. I wanted to call you and give you a good laugh. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, my <laughs> friend, don't do that. Come on, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh boy, don't do that. Okay, let us see. Any Muslim? Any other Muslim? <laughs> this guy turned to be a joker. <laughs> don't do guys. Guys, don't do that. You know, we we have we have uh, beard and you know. Uh, and your camera was open. You are in the video now. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, but as you see, guys, those videos are priceless. I think it's time to take commercial break. Shall we? Commercial break. Your kindly support. Okay. Commercial break. Hello, babies. If you would like to support Christian Prince. Please go to Patreon and show your support. www.patreon.com slash Christian Prince We thank you all for your kindly support and enjoy the video. Alright, guys, today we have a great news, in case you do not know. Uh, uh, Abu Dhin. Okay, we will call Abu Dhin. Okay, go. Uh, uh, we have my book, The Section of Allah, translated in Chinese. All right, it's for free. You will find the link in my Patreon. You can go and download. And we have six in Allah, in Russian, for free too. So today we have two books published for free. And uh, again, we appreciate those who are doing translation. I'm so happy to have my books translated to Chinese finally. And soon we will have, I hope, a, a sex and Allah in Chinese too, and we will publish it. So thanks, thank you, Lord. Thank you for those who do uh, help us in the translation. Let us see Mr. Abu Dean. Abu Dean. Well, my friend, he have to text me so I can call him. I don't see at any text in, in Sky from Abu Dean. How I'm going to find him? I don't see anyone. His name is Abu Dean. Text me in Skype. None. <clears throat> Abu Dean, what is your Skype, my friend, so I can find you? <coughs> yeah, don't forget, if you are a person speak Chinese, please do do your do your job. It's it is in you who can help us now. 
to spread the translation of the deception of Allah in Chinese language and as you see it's for free and I'm not giving for free because I'm rich I'm not but it's more important for us from making money but all of us need money all of us no exception but for me it's way more important to make almost 2 billion Chinese read my book from making one dollar otherwise if I want to say it from everyone if, 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 if I sell the book for one dollar only I will become a millionaire so for the sake of the Lord we are giving it for free so the Chinese can be saved from this ugly garbage cult same for six and Allah in Russian so now anyone who speak Russian from all the countries who speak Russian like Ukraine Russia all those you know all Soviet Union they can read my books for free and we have the deception of Allah and Quran and science already <clears throat> so Abu Deen, give me my give me your uh, give me your account in Skype so I can call you. <coughs> give me your Skype so I can call you. Yeah, the link is already. I have it in Patreon. You can go and download it and please share it with your friends. Remember, from now on, we have the section of Allah in Chinese. Great work from the one who did it. Actually. You know, I tried many times before to have it translated into Chinese, but people they ask a lot for a lot of money. There's a person I remember. He said he wanted ten dollars for every page, ten dollars for every page. You know, so uh, uh, the person who did it, he did it volunteer. I did not pay him, and I'm giving it for free anyway. You know, but this is telling you how wonderful some Christians are. They are willing to take a lot of time because this is a lot of work. This is not an easy task, especially you are doing it in Chinese. I think it's going to be, the book will be way bigger. <clears throat> Call my Skype number is here. What my Skype number? Give me your Skype ID, Abu Deen. What number? Give me your Skype ID, I will call you. Why you don't text me? Text me. Yeah, I think maybe he's a kid. They're just making things up. As you see, we are really happy to see those Muslims exposing their stupid religion. Great things happened in the last few weeks. All of them, they are hilarious. The interview of uh, Mimi Hijab with this man was hilarious. Exposed Muhammad Hijab and his cult. Jesus was crucified. The Muslims, they're inviting somebody to confirm the crucifixion of Jesus priceless Jesus he believed that he is the son of God priceless the disciple they believe in what Jesus said priceless which means the disciple did not change the Bible Jesus was crucified and was buried priceless the Quran is preserved but the yellow pages is preserved too priceless so Mimi Hijab he brought shame to his God priceless and you just refuse to admit it's a mistake. You think either it can be reconciled in some way or that there's something we just don't understand about it or, you know, we have, and, and. <laughs> in the Quran, it's mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant. I certainly <laughs> don't think God gave them. <laughs> the phone book, the phone book, is compared to the Quran in a Muslim life program. The phone book in the face of the Muslims, in the face of Mimi Hijab the Kawad, and he don't dare to say, you cannot compare the phone book to my God book. Uh, somebody saying Abu Deen, my name is Abu Deen. Okay, let's see, maybe this one. I uh, know it says here Abu Abi Nasir Abu Deen. Um, I don't think this is the same one. Which one is you, Abu Din? I, I see three. Only three. Is that you? Abi Nasser Abu, Abu, Abu Din? Text me if this is you. Last warning, my friend. I don't want to call people. There's three people here. I'm not going to call people in their houses, you know, harassing them. I don't know who's you. So text me and tell me this is me. And I will call you right away. Abu Deen. 
Even your name is stupid. How in the body, how in the world somebody can be the father of of religion? Are you God? <laughs> stupid. Abu Deen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so all those videos actually they are priceless in the last two weeks we have amazing videos made by Muslims supporting what we teach this year was really good uh, like this one there's holes in the narrative priceless new this is from the time of the Sahaba this is not a joke brothers and sisters the issue of Ahrub and Qiraat caused confusion to somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubay. Ubay is not some even average Sahabi. He is the Qari of the Quran. He is the master. He is who he is. And he goes, Fadakhal fi nafsi shak. Like, what is all of this stuff? Um, again, this is the you, you have asked me a very honest question. It's the first time I'm saying these things. Many people are aware who listen to my lectures that I've mentioned the crises that happened to me at Yale. This was the issue. That the issue of ahruf and preservation and qiraat and relationships between them, these are very, very difficult issues. And the most advanced of our scholars, they're not quite fully certain how to solve all of the unanswered yeah. questions in there. Here's the point. Do you these issues you? should only be discussed amongst people yeah. who know what the qiraat are and who understand some of these questions that are being so, raised. So is what you're saying, the shek that came, or not the shek, but the, the, the crisis that you had was in relation to this question of the relationship between the Ahraf and the Qiraat, basically? No, 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 the crisis I had wasn't that. The crisis I had was, well, yeah, wait, that, that, that was what generated. But what was the crisis? The crisis was very simple. Traditional understandings of Ahraf and Qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked by our uh, people outside of by our academics, not our by their academics outside of the faith tradition. You see, Muslims cannot answer any academic questioning, they cannot. This is the truth because Islam is a stupid cult, there's big holes in the narrative, and the Muslim they try to buy some glue and cement to close those rocks. But they go in YouTube and then they make interview and then those holes exposed and they are leaking again. So those interviews are priceless. This religion is proven to be stupid by the followers before the non-followers. If you ask yourself what this guy is talking about, he's talking about that Allah he sent Muhammad 7 Quran. Have you ever heard? Of a prophet, he cannot. He's saying that my people cannot handle it if it is one Quran. Is it the Muslim they say that the Quran is a perfect language of Allah? It's a perfect language of Allah. To the point, the Quran cannot explain itself. You know what I mean? Imagine I have to write the book, The Session of Allah, seven times. Because first time I wrote it, people did not understand. So it, it, it looks stupid. So then I decide, okay, I'm going to write it second time. Still it was stupid. Then I decide to make it third time. So I had to write seven books about my book. So the Muslim can understand. And after having seven books, we hear this. Still the Muslim can't understand. <clears throat> Do you see your stupidity? Do you see it? Who can be more stupid than this God?
And those who are asking me to call this guy Abu Din, he did not text me. This guy is, 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 a, is a fraud. He's fake. In a Muslim environment, there's always some respect that we have for the Quran. We should. In a Muslim environment, we'll press a little bit and then we'll say, okay, khalas, sami'na wa ta'na. And that's great, alhamdulillah. We press a, lot, a little bit and then we stop and we say, we hear it and we obey. Which means we don't understand, but we hear it and we obey. When you go to academia, they don't have that red line. And they're going to just, you know, the, the, the famous story of the emperor with no clothes. They're going to just point out, no, that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's not true. And this and that. And they'll bring issues, which I'm not going to mention explicitly, that you know are true because they're in your own books. They're not inventing anything new. They'll bring you riwayat and they'll bring you athar. And then you add to that very well-known issues of, I don't even want to be explicit. And then you bring on top of that makhtutat. And then and then. And it's very clear to you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes in it. That's what I'm going to say. The standard narrative does not answer some very pressing questions. These are now well known within the Western uh, Academy uh, that they're bringing forth issues. Their level of now knowledge is leaps and bounds above what it used to be, you know, 100 years ago. What is happening in the last few years is not me anymore. It's the Western academics. These, these problems are now becoming mainstream. And by and large, our ulama in the Eastern world are not aware, by and large, of what's going on in the Western side of things. And they're not answering those questions in a manner that it needs to be answered. Then Muhammad Hijab has him on again. <coughs> Look at this guy. This guy is like a goat who jumped in the... Uh, by the way, I, don't, I, don't, I never thought that he is in the video. I don't know. I'm, I'm playing just a video. I searched for all the narrative. I saw this goat in front of me. And this... And then the Muhammad Hijab, he brings him again. <laughs> they don't want to hear the truth. This is a Muslim convert. He's a stupid. You do not know what they are talking about. Like, what the heck? You made me believe in a stupid religion? So he's upset. You brought him... Uh, Muhammad Hijab, he brought him again and again and again and again what the heck and this has to be probably the the most damaging podcast i think the, what the heck this is the most damaging podcast what do you think about this one the nipples of uh, mimi hijab what do you think this one is not damaging look mimi hijab he shaved his chest a night before he go to the embassy he took off his shirt, so all the Muslim girls will praise Allah for the shaved chest. Is that damaging too? You know what? Imagine if Zakir Naik, he go in front of the Chinese embassy and he take his t-shirt too. <laughs> I want all the Muslims in YouTube, all of you tomorrow, go in front of the American, not, not only Chinese, I mean all embassies, man. The Israeli embassies. Support Hamas. The government of England, Her Majesty the Queen, the Prime Minister, he ordered to ban and anyone who supports Hamas will face at, at least 10 years of jail. So where is the brave warrior, the t-shirt topless take off jihad? Is that a form of jihad? You want to go to fight? Come and fight Mimi Hijab. He just saw his nipples. What a potato coward. The embassy in front of you, son of Muta. If you are a man, touch the door. You don't even dare to touch the door. You are making a hero show in YouTube, exposing yourself topless, and you claim to be a Muslim. So, if this is what Islam is about, why the rest of Muslims there, they are not taking off their top? You don't have a... You would not shave your chest like Mimi Hijab. So Muslims are so upset. As you see, we show them what this guy, he said, suddenly the Muslim, he will tell us what he meant. He meant, he meant later. He meant, what meant later? He said, Muhammad is not from the Abrahamic faith. As simple as that. He said, Muhammad, he did not know who is Jibreel. And then the one who called me in order to fix it, he make it more blind. He said, because he is not from the Judaism and Christianity. That's wonderful. That's mean Abrahamic faith is only the Christian and the Jews. And I asked him the question three times. Three times. 
And he repeated again and again, because Muhammad was not from the Christian and Judaism faith. So Abrahamic belief is only Christians and Jews. Anyone else attach himself to Abraham is a fraud. Muhammad, he never heard about Abrahamic faith. And that is a priceless thing because look what happened now. The Arab, the Mushrikeen, they worship Allah. They worship who? Allah. Okay. So, if Muhammad, he did not know, and he was not from the Abrahamic faith, and he was worshipping a God, his name is Allah, because all the Arab of Quraysh worship Allah. Look what happened. Obviously, Allah is not the God of Abraham. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ibn Farouk, he explained that the reason Muhammad do not know who is Jibreel is because he is not from the Abrahamic faith. But what was the God, and he was from the Quraysh, and Quraysh are pagan. Did he say in the video that Quraysh were pagan? He said, but okay, those pagan Quraysh, they worship who? They worship Allah. <laughs> Let me find you this video so we can laugh more. <clears throat> Let us see. Give me a second. This is a sheikh with a beard. To walk a very thin line. And they say we cannot label people as mushrik because there's so many of them. Well, Allah Azza wa Jal labeled them in the Quran when he said, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ The vast majority of them, of the people, the inhabitants of earth, would not believe in Allah except while committing shirk. What is their belief in Allah Azza wa Jal? It's the same belief of the pagans and the idol worshippers. Did you hear it? People, did you hear it? The pagan and the Muslims, they have the same belief. And he is talking about the pagan and the Muslims. And those are supposed to be the bad Muslims. But they are Muslims, they worship the same God. They worship Allah. The pagan, when the Muslim they say pagan, they are speaking about people who worship Allah. Was Abraham a pagan who worship Allah? He's not. Because if he worship Allah, that will make him a pagan. Listen carefully what he will say. They try to walk a very thin line. And they say we cannot label people as mushrik because there's so many of them. Well, Allah Azza wa labeled them in the Quran. When he said, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ The vast majority of them, of the people, the inhabitants of earth, would not believe in Allah except while committing shirk. What is their belief in Allah Azza wa Jal? Tell me. It's the same belief of the pagans and the idol worshippers. See? Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. The pagans and the idol worshippers used to believe. Used to believe that Allah... Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hi, yes, my friend, how are you? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Uh, um, what should I say? Hmm. Are you a Muslim? Uh, you, um, I just want to say you, uh, why do you believe in, in the fate of Christianity? What, what? Why do you believe in Christianity faith? Why I believe in Christianity faith? Because Christianity faith is the only one who will save me. Hello? Yeah, this guy doesn't have good connection. All right.
do we have any Muslim? So listen carefully what the pagan Arab believe. They believe exactly as the Muslim believe. Both are pagan. In shirk. What is their belief in Allah Azza wa Jal? It's the same belief of the pagans and the idol worshippers. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. The pagans and the idol worshippers used to believe. Hmm. Used to believe that Allah is the provider, that Allah is the giver of life and death, that Allah is the creator, that Allah is the facilitator of their affairs. Hmm. Did you hear people? Sorry, disconnected due to internet problem. No problem. So uh, I told you, you asked me why you believe in Christianity. I said because it's going to yes. save me. Why you believe in Islam? My friend, I don't have time for silence. Hello? You want to talk or what? Yeah, I'm talking. I'm talking to you. So why you believe in Islam yes. yourself? Why you believe in Islam? Um, I believe in Islam because I believe in one God. You believe in one God? Okay, what if there are two gods? Hmm? What is that one God mean? What there is, cannot what, be two. What if there is like there's the, there's ten gods? What you will not believe in them? Hello? You know, what's wrong? Are you going to spend the day saying hello? You know, hello? Is bad? Okay, I'm asking you. You said you believe in one God. What if there's ten gods? You will believe in them or, or not? Hello? I mean, that's useless. I'm not going to spend the day hello. Hello, it's me. You're looking for. So listen carefully. What this guy is saying? He's saying the truth. Muslims are pagan and pagan are Muslims. Both they worship the same God. Both they believe Allah is the provider. Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless him and give him more versions. He said, remember, people of Mecca, they are pagan. Why Muhammad do not know who is Gabriel? Because those people are pagan, but they believe in Allah, which means the God of Islam is not the God of Gabriel. Because if the God of Islam, his name is Allah, and he is the same God of Abraham, then Muhammad should knew about Gabriel. Do you understand? It's the same belief of the pagans and the idol worshippers. <clears throat> Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. The pagans and the idol worshippers used to believe. Used to believe that Allah is the provider, that Allah is the giver of life and death, that Allah is the creator, that Allah is the facilitator of their affairs. It's all over the Quran. It's all over the Quran. It is all over the Quran. Now, so if we go back to Sheikh Uthman, Shukuku, he made it clear that the reason Muhammad do not know who is Gabriel, because he is from the people of Quraysh and they are pagan. The people of Mecca, they are pagan. But who is the pagan? Is those who worship Allah. So if the excuse is that Muhammad do not know anything about Gabriel is being one of the people of Mecca who they are pagan. That's mean the people of Mecca who they are pagan worshiping Allah have nothing to do with the God of Abraham. Because if they knew Allah, then they should knew Gabriel. If Gabriel belonged to Allah. Listen carefully. He doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh, somebody say his name in Arabic, Muhammad Qadr. Uh, my friend, just send me a text message in Skype. Say hello. I will, I will call you if you want, if you like to join us. Text me. Don't call me because you cannot call me unless you are in my list. So I have to, I will, I will be calling you. I, you can call me after I added you. Like if you spoke to me before. Or if I text you back, you know, that's mean you can call me. So why Muhammad is not knowing who is Gabriel? Because remember, he is one of the pagan of Mecca. Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagans. Right? Obviously, the name of our religion is Islam. A Muslim saying here, let us show you what he is saying. You Christians want to talk about others, but not your own. 
I mean, here we find it very funny and very silly from Muhammadan. All your Quran, from the first page to the last page, attacking Christianity, calling us kuffar, najas, dirty, corrupt, uh, you know. The second we start answering you and getting you busted, you say, you Christian talk about others. We don't open our Bible. You don't see anywhere talking about the first thing, Muhammad. The only place it says there's a false prophet will come after me. But it did not tell me, Muhammad. So, because you are desperate, because you cannot refute us, because we are sharing the truth about the cult of Muhammad, you come with such an excuse. You Christians want to talk about others, but not your own. Even, even, even a Dennis, uh, you know, you're a hypocrite, full of shit, Abrahamic religion, or satanic, evil, who use to steal from others. <laughs> I think somebody he opened the zoo door. All right, go back to the zoo. So Muhammad was not Abrahamic. He never knew who is the true God is. Therefore, he did not know Gabriel because he was one of Quraysh, and Quraysh are pagan. And they have the exact same belief as the Muslims today. There's nothing new. The Arab pagans are the Muslims. They believe Allah is God. They believe He's the provider. They believe that He is everything for them. Tolerant person, advocating of tolerance, being okay with all strands of the society. There's there so many of them. Well, Allah Azza wa labeled them in the Quran when He said, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ the vast majority of them, of the people, the inhabitants of earth, would not believe in Allah except while committing shirk. What is their belief in Allah Azza wa Jal? It's the same belief of the pagans and the idol worshippers. Are you serious? Yeah. The pagans and the idol worshippers used to believe. Do you hear it? Used to believe that Allah is a provider, that Allah is the giver of life and death, that Allah is the creator, that Allah is the facilitator of their affairs. It's all over the Quran. If you read this is Islam. The pagan, the pagan, and the Muslims, they have one God. Did you hear the truth? It is all over the Quran. The pagan of Mecca, they believe Allah is the creator. The pagan of Mecca, they believe Allah is the provider. Muhammad did not know who is Gabriel. As Uthman, he said, may Allah bless his tail and make it grow longer. He was not Abrahamic. And he did not know, this is why he did not know Gabriel. He never heard of Gabriel before. Never ever heard. That means the God of the pagan Arab of Mecca never heard of Gabriel. So the God they worship, they call him Allah, have nothing to do with Gabriel. Did you see the conclusion, guys? You see how beautiful it is? How many people here, they speak Chinese? If you speak Chinese, give me one. If you speak Russian, give me one. If you speak Chinese, we have a news for you. Please tell your friends. We have our book in Chinese already, Deception of Allah, for free. For free. So if you are a person, and please, even if you're in Chinese, share the link with everybody in Twitter, in Facebook, because even if you are not a Chinese, when you share it, somebody will stop by. And this is what you should do, actually. You should copy some of the text of the book or the name of the book, or use Google translation, The Deception of Allah, and post the title next to the link. Like go to Google translation, type download The Deception of Allah by Christian Prince in Chinese language for free. And for free, this is not illegal. This is on me, the author, giving the book for free. So don't worry about downloading. So share with everybody in Facebook, in Twitter. 
it is for free. And we have the same. Six and Allah too, in Russian, now is available for free in the Russian language. Great news. Again, it's for free. So now we have in the Russian language, we have deception of Allah. We have Quran and science. And now we have six in Allah, but this is value number one. And I hope soon, value number two will be published too. So please share the links. Tell your friends. It is your duty to do the rest. And it's not costly. It costs you nothing. It costs you absolutely nothing. Like people don't help us in donation, I understand. No problem. Many people are fake. You know, they say they support, but they don't. At least post a link. At least. If you care for a human, a human being, so like a safety, because Islam is a threat for the security and the safety and the economy of all the world. This religion is made by a madman and war can erupt because of this filthy cult. And this war can destroy the whole earth. So even if you're not a Christian, even if you don't care about religion, my friend, Islam is a threat. Those who want to kill themselves for the sake of Allah, they kill themselves because they believe in Allah. So if we can destroy that faith, then nobody will explode himself in a bus or a train or an airplane. We defeat Islam, we bring peace. Doesn't matter what religion is. Islam is not a peaceful religion. If we can call it a religion, it's a satanic, demonic, violent cult. So share the links. And my books is given to you by for free. What I can do more? If there's anything more I can do? Let me know. And now I'm looking for somebody who can translate my book into Korean. Please, if you are interested, voluntarily contact me in Patreon. Somebody saying, do you know that Jesus killed people in the Gospel of uh, on, uh, Thomas? Uh, pause the verse so we can we can read with you and we can enjoy it. <laughs> he guys, do you know that Jesus he killed people in the Gospel of Thomas? Pause the verse so we can read. And I promise you, I'll put it in the screen. I promise you, in front of everybody, we are not the same as Muslims. We will block you because you said something we didn't agree with. Pause the verse and let us laugh at you. Do you know that Jesus, he killed, Jesus, he killed people in the, in the Bible of Thomas? Do you know that? You know, we're here. Do you know that Jesus, he killed people? My friend, let me tell you too. Jesus, when he come in the end of the time, he will bring all mankind, and the Bible says, bring them. The angels, he's holding the angels. And those who don't believe in him, he will say to them, slaughter them. Are you happy? That is my Jesus. But this is in the judgment day. When he come as a judge, he will make you a shish kebab. Literally. But anyway, brother, give us the Bible of Thomas. <laughs> the guy, he changed the topic in the speed of light. He don't want to talk about it no more. He talk about Christmas now. Just to show you the stupidity. How can you say that Islam is a pagan while Christmas enter with a stolen holiday from the pagan? Brother, sisters, you stupid idiot. It's called the Christmas. Christ. So how is it stolen from the pagan? If you want to say to me that they correct the tree, the pagan, they were worshipping the tree. We don't. So you are a tomato potato again desperate. Desperate potato. The pagan, they worship, even the Bible speak about those who decorate a tree to worship it. Idiot. We don't worship a tree. 
they will don't. However, in your Quran, the tree was God, and the tree spoke and said, I am Allah. Is that true? A voice came from the holy ground of the holy tree, saying, I am Allah. So in your Quran, the tree is God. Muhammad here, he stole a chapter, or let's say some verses from the Old Testament. But as usual, he add his own spice and that make the story against Islam, not for it. But when he came to the fire, which is in the tree, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley from a tree saying, O Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord of the world. Are you there? Abdul. And by the way, I encourage all the Christians to celebrate Christmas, for this is a Christ name we celebrate. Those who say to you Christmas is not from Christianity, is not from the Bible, this is true. But we are celebrating Christ. Every day is a Christmas for us. And because they hate Jesus, and they hate to see that the whole world is celebrating his name in Christmas time. They are against it. So we Christians, we celebrate Christmas. It is a time of joy for God, the Lord, the Messiah. He brought joy to our life and you have none. Even your famous actors, even your famous football player, they have a Christmas tree. I am not into football. Actually, I don't like to, to, to see their news. I believe it's stupid. But when the Muslim, they go mad, because Muhammad Salah, he have a big Christmas tree in his house. He have what? Not only he have a big Christmas tree, he dressed with his wife and his children as Santa Claus. famous Muslims they cannot find that joy in Islam so him and his family and the funny his daughter her name is Mecca this guy is supposed to be a religious Muslim his name is Muhammad his daughter name is Mecca and behind them there's a tree celebrating Christ what say you and almost in every single Muslim country, they are putting Christmas tree now. Hypocrites. Just to be friendly to the Christians so they can get their protection. I just saw in the news that Morocco is protected by full the sky by the weapon of Israel. Can you believe it? Azerbaijan is protected by full by Israel. Turkey. All the airplane is made in Turkey, is made by chips made in Israel. Emirat. They are buying weapons from Israel and they are signing defense agreement. Saudi Arabia. I mean, you name it. So they go in the street, say death to Israel, but 
their leaders, they kiss the shoes of the Jews. Not our topic, but just to answer the Abdul, the idiot. My friends, Christ, he brings joy to all mankind around the world. Even in China, the, those who aren't Christians, they celebrate Christmas. You see what Jesus do? Is it amazing? He brings joy to every heart of every child, even Muslim children. And the reason the Muslims they are so upset from the from from Christmas, because they see how the Christmas exposes something extremely ugly in Islam. There's no joy in this religion. Islam is a religion of penis, vagina, breast, breastfeeding, sex. With the Christ, for the first time, a human being is enjoying being a human being with a clean, clear heart. Yeah, and not only that, you know, just to show you how, how much hate they have. Jordan is dying without water. The Israeli, they said, okay, we'll give you water. Today, they are striking the street. They don't want the water of Israel. Can you believe it, how, how much hate they have? If I am the leader of Israel, okay, I will say, I will not give you water. Go die. Hypocrites. Uh... The, the Mufti of Oman, the, 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 Sultan, the Sultan of Oman, his Mufti, he said, praise be to Erdogan, he is fighting the interest of the banks. He stopped it. Stupid, he didn't know how to read. Erdogan, he lowered it, he did not stop it, you donkey. Do you see the difference between he lowered the bank interest from, from stopping the interest? They are, mean, they, are, they are mad, they don't know what they are talking about. This is the Mufti, he is saying, thank you Erdogan for stopping the interest. You stupid, he did not stop the interest, he lowered the interest. <laughs> stupid, certified stupid. If those are your shake, what about the potatoes? If those are the shake, if the sheikhs are donkeys, if somebody lowered the interest, he did not stop the interest. He's approving it. He's trying to fix his economy, and the lira of the Turkish is dying, is bankrupt. The country, the whole country is bankrupt. Stupidity is amazing. The guy he lowered the interest, that make him fighting the interest? So Christmas is coming and Christmas always bring a great joy to our life. And as you see, with good Christians, the joy is even getting better. I am so happy to see my book translated in Chinese. I remember once I met some Chinese people and we spoke about Islam. I wish that book or my book was exist. Their, language, their English is very bad. Hardly we can communicate. I wish at that time I have my book translated. But today is not the case. Thank you for the one who did the job. Truly, truly thank you. Thank you for all the translators who translate my books to all languages from the Polish Albanian, Dutch, German, Russian. And yeah, by the way, soon I will publish my book for the first time in Persian. Persian. What is left? So the Lord is wonderful. I always complain that Christians don't really support me. But doesn't mean that there's no wonderful Christians exist. For those who did the job, they spend many, many, many hours from their day, from their life. But remember this, this work 
whoever did the translation by the way I do not know the person who did the translation all the books my translation I don't know one person of them but remember this your work will stay forever this is my book yes it is your translation too so because of this person how many people they speak Chinese let me search in Prophet Google how many people speak Chinese additional to me because you know I'm speaking Chinese too <clears throat> it says here <clears throat> I don't know if this number is correct but I think it's more I think they are talking about only about people who live in China but here it says 1.3 billion people they speak Chinese I believe more so because of this person who did the Chinese translation there's 1.3 billion at least they will get their hand on my book so truly truly thank you how many people speak Russian let us see two hundred fifty eight millions So the ones who did the Russian translation, they gave their work to 258 million. Isn't it amazing? There's other languages, they are small, but they are important too. Like Albanian, or maybe Polish, Croatian, but having their translation is a blessing because they are nations too. I hope we will have soon somebody will do help us to translate to Greek language, Greece, so people of Greece can read it. I hope soon we will have translation to all languages of the world, even though we are covering a huge part of it. And we will give our books for free. Yes, and my book translated to Spanish too. Yes, I have a Spanish translation, but not for the six and Allah, I think, still not translated yet. Isn't it amazing? So now we will have a huge impact. And you know, the Muslims, they try to fight Christian prince, they try to shut me down. You can't stop my books, that's it. Even me, I can't take it back. Whatever the link I posted right now, I just posted the link five minutes ago about the Chinese book. Me, myself, I cannot stop that book from being published no more. Isn't it amazing? Somalian will help me translate to Somalian if you speak Somalian. And as you see, I'm giving my books in fr for free. This is telling you who we are, right? People who worship money, they will not give you their books for free. I did not, I spent my life studying this garbage. So why I want to give it to you for free? You tell me. Maybe I don't need money. Maybe I'm rich. Maybe I'm a billionaire. I'm not. But saving mankind saving souls is way more important and at the end of the day the Lord is our provider at the end of the day it's God who will give me I have no worry 
So again, I want to say thank you. Maybe I should make just a special video to thank those people. I know they don't care for people appreciating their work. I mean, me saying thank you, because that will not change anything that they spend a lot of time. Thank you is not really a payment. But guess what? I believe it truly that the Lord himself is happy because you share the truth. So more and more Muslims will leave Islam in China. More and more Muslims and non-Muslims in China will see how stupid Islam is. I hope soon too we will have Quran and science because that book complete this book. So it is really a beautiful day for me. I'm so proud of all of you, those who help us in the translation. I pray that the Lord will reward you. I pray that the Christians will appreciate you. And uh, I will be happy to give more books. I'm working right now, as you know, in the Quran translation. And then after we finish the Quran translation, we need people to help us to translate to all languages again. And we will give the translation for free, same as the others. So we will translate the Quran into English. Then the heroes of us, they will translate that translation into all languages. Russian, Chinese, French. So nobody can lie to you, giving you false, inaccurate translation. And I believe actually I need to take some time off so I can uh, can finish reading the translation because you know going live it is really take a lot of your energy me, you know maybe some of you might say okay he stay alive with us for a few hours but you know this religion make me feel disgusted I need like I need some time to cleanse myself from the topic Many people do not understand that when you talk about this cult, it's disgusting. It's not something comfortable for me. It is the most disgusting topic ever. But because I have to, I am doing what nobody can do maybe. Our priests, sadly, they are busy making speeches, but not teaching. And if you ask them about Islam, they will give you a wrong answer. So we are here to do what Christians should be doing and those who claim to be priests, they are not doing. All of this, so your wife, your child, your daughter will not be fooled by a liar. Saving souls is the most important job a human being can accomplish. You can be a mechanic, you can be a doctor, you can be an engineer, you can be a lawyer. But none of those is equal to saving souls. When you follow a cult, that cult will destroy your life. It's worse than a drugs. Especially those who teach you hatred. When hatred go inside you, hatred will kill you. Hatred will take over you. Hatred is a poison, a person he take willingly. And Christ is against hate. So we praise the Lord for his love. And he orders to love the Muslims and not to hate them. If we hate them, we will become like Muhammad. We will become literally satanic followers. We hate the hate, if we can say so. One of you asked me, he sent me a message, says, so we just keep saying love the Muslims. Does that mean we cannot fight terrorists? I did not say that. A terrorist, he will make him shish kebab. 
We will not give him a hug. We will make him hummus. We will send him a free shipping and hand it into Allah. You have the right to defend your life, your family, your town, your country. When Jesus says love your enemy, love an enemy is about showing them that they are stupid following the wrong God. It's not about hugs. It's not about kisses. Loving the enemy is love to save them from the devil Muhammad. As simple as that. We don't want Muslims to be killed. We don't want Muslims to be hurt. There are people like us. They have feeling. They have family. They have children. Islam is the problem. When the Quran, when the faith of the Quran says to the Muslims, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Why Muhammad he did that? Because he's so evil. He don't want even in the future my kid and your kid to be friends. He won't bloodshed forever. A filthy man. Muhammad the Satan, he knew that the second that us and the Muslims we become friends, Islam is dead. The filthy Muhammad, he knew that the second a Muslim, he will not hate me and he will accept me to be his friend. From his heart, Islam is dead. So this filthy, satanic man, he wanted to be sure that even after he die, we will be enemy forever. But as you see, Muslims, when you are hungry, you go to the Christians. I don't see thousands of refugees going to Muslim countries. I don't see millions of Muslims dying to go to Muslim countries. When the refugees, they run away from Myanmar to Bangladesh, do you know what they did to them? They threw them in the ocean. Go check it out. Muslims don't welcome Muslims. Muslims kill Muslims. Muslims bomb Muslims, rape Muslims. Christians give them health insurance, school, even pay for their mosque. Can you believe it? Can you believe it that the government of England pay for the Muslim program of youth and Muni Hijab he received some of that money? Watch the video of Shamsi asking where the money goes about hundreds of thousands of pounds given from the government. So we are victorious. They cannot answer us. And more and more Muslims will leave the garbage of Muhammad. But the most important thing, that this season is a beautiful season with all those videos. And the funny is that they are the Muslims making the videos, recording the videos, and posting the videos. Isn't this is wonderful? Isn't this amazing to see that example, Sheikh, of, uh, uh, Sheikh Farouk, may Allah bless him, going to the park, recording a video, and posting it online. And in that video, he confessed that Muhammad was not Abrahamic, and he did not know who is Gabriel. Isn't it wonderful? It's a wonderful season. It's a wonderful time. Poets couldn't respond to. Yeah. So that's cool. That's so cool. Did he, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He did. He did. He did. Sure. Any later? No, no. Even at that so, time, right? But but. Here, by the way, here you see how Uthman he's a stupid liar. I mean, did you just yourself? People will ask you, show why. I ask Christians when somebody says something, show show me the reference. Like now he said, Abraham, Gabriel, he told him I am Gabriel from the beginning. Show us, where? Put him in the corner. 
But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. That's exactly the truth. Muhammad had nothing to do with the Abrahamic faith. Muhammad is a fraud. Uh, Prophet knew Gabriel through Ishmael. That part of his statement is not correct. I did not hear him saying he knew about Ishmael. He said he did not know who's Gabriel. He did not say Ishmael or anything. He said he did not know who's Gabriel. Maybe you are talking about the person who called me. He said from Ishmael. No, the, the, you know, the guy, he said it clearly. Muhammad, he did not know who is Gabriel. That's, that's it. Why? He said why? Because the Arab, the people of Mecca, they are pagan. So Muhammad is a pagan. He lives in between the pagan. He is born of a pagan family. So it's very normal to be pagan too. Why the Muslim try to deny it? What happened to the Abdul? That he, as all Abdul, the same as Muhammad, when they talk, they fart. When they talk, they don't talk, they do farting. I don't see Muslims talking really. I see Muslims farting when they try to defend the religion. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Piss in your ears. Amazing knowledge. I'm searching for the video about shade, sitting in shade. I get uh, makeup videos. Yeah. This is the truth about Islam. I was sitting once and I was half in the shade and half in the sun. So my teacher told me that I shouldn't do that. When I asked for the reason, he said, because this is where shaitan sits. So he is uh, asking me, can you elaborate? Yeah, I can easily elaborate. This is what the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam. There are so many things, Yahya, that we believe without understanding because this is part of our religion. Allah described us in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah that we believe in the unseen. So if I were to tell you that, Akhi, here is a mine gold. You said, wait, I, I can't see anything. You will not believe me. But when Allah tells us that there are angels around us, there are jinn around us. Here you notice the stupidity, how the, how the brain have a low IQ when you believe in this cult. The question is, my sheikh told me, I cannot sit in the sh shade because shaitan, he said, half in the sh shade, half of the sun. He said, because shaitan, he said there. So what? Let us say for the sake of argument, shaitan, he said, half in the shade, half on the, so what? You see, you see the stupidity? The question is, why I cannot? <laughs> Low IQ. I have somebody now sitting half in the shade, half in the sun. Okay, I'm going to tell him now not, not to do that. Okay. He asked me why I cannot do that. You say to him, because shaitan, he said this way. So what does that have to do with me? How stupid is that? So the question never answer. The question why I cannot sit half in the sun, half in the shade. He said, because the prophet said so. But why the stupid prophet say so? If I sit half in the shade and half in the sun, does that make me Satan? 
Isn't it obvious that this religion is made by a fool? And look, this guy is sure he can explain it. Look, he's not like, you know, like home, how I can explain this. For sure I can elaborate. The shade and half in the sun. Half in the shade and half. I was half in the shade and half in the sun. I was half in the shade and half in the sun. I was half in the shade and half in the sun. I was half in the shade and half in the sun. I was half in the shade and half in the sun. I was half in the shade and half in the sun. Do you see the important topic in the 21 century? There's a guy, brother. He is sitting half on the shade and half in the sun. Brother. We 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 Brother, you cannot do that. You better move right now. Move your ass. Why 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 why? Because eight and half in the sun. So my teacher told me that I shouldn't do that. When I asked for the reason, he said, because this is where shaitan sits. So he uh, is asking me, can you elaborate? Yeah, I can easily elaborate. This is what the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam. That's it. I can easily, easily, easily elaborate. You idiot, you stupid. He told you that the shaitan, the, the, the scholar, he told him why. He told him because the Prophet says so. The, so the answer is because the Prophet says so. Do you see the stupidity? Hey, Muslims. Is your prophet under the influence of hashish? This is what his God told him? That you cannot sit under the sun and the shade in the same time? Why? Because Satan, he said the same way. This is how stupid this cult is. And then the Muslim they make videos about Quran and science and the Prophet and science and we die laughing at the hypocrisy and the lies.